how do you search Twitter? Tweet, 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 tweet. It's not that easy. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to search Twitter to find people, places, groups, things that are going on, exciting stuff in the Twitter sphere. My name is Jason McDonald, director of the JM Internet Group. Let's get started. Okay, so our agenda is first we're going to look at why we search Twitter, both for individuals and for businesses. Then we're going to turn to some tips and tricks for how to search Twitter on Twitter itself. There's a very cool advanced search in Twitter that you want to understand. And then we're going to look at a few search engines that will help us search Twitter. Uh, so first of all, why do individuals search Twitter? So Twitter is sort of the gossip uh, center of the universe these days. You might be really excited about the next Taylor Swift uh, CD. It's called Red. You might be really into Rihanna. You might care about organic food. You might want to find people who are talking about Obamacare, pro, con, whatever. Any sort of topic can be found on Twitter if you know how to look. And that's what a lot of individuals are doing. And they're looking for people uh, who share that interest. Businesses are searching Twitter really to engage in conversations that their customers or potential customers are having to reach out to those customers and build sort of their brand and get people to know about them. So both businesses and individuals are searching Twitter. Now for today's session, I have built out all the links. You can go to um, jm-seo.org slash 42. So the code is 42 and that gets you to all the PowerPoint slides and goodies and all that fun stuff or click on the link in the YouTube video before. Uh, then finally, as we get started, I just want to show there's a really nice guide to Twitter, and I've got the link for it. It's called Twitter 101, and it's got the basics uh, to how to use Twitter really, really well done. And even if you're just the average person, this is a great place to go to understand uh, how to use Twitter and, and get started. As we go through, we're going to look at sort of three elements, hashtags, the handle, and retweeting as we get uh, into how to search Twitter. Okay, so Twitter does a great job of hiding uh, the advanced search function. So you want to log into Twitter and start searching, and there's another way you can search that they don't really uh, explain, and we want to show where that is. So let's go over to Twitter, and in Twitter, I'm going to sign into my account. It's easier to search if you sign into your Twitter account. You can do it without uh, doing that, but it's best easier if you're signed in. Okay, now let's just sort of basic stuff. So let's say we're interested in Taylor Swift's article. Let's article, her album. Let's put Taylor Swift and the word red, which is the name of her new album. And let's take it. Of course, Twitter is huge for pop culture. So here I am now searching Twitter. And I have done a nice little search here. Very, very simple. You just go to the search box, put in your keywords, and it starts to show you all sorts of stuff going on. Now let's notice our Twitter lingo. You can see here is some sort of fan, and that at sign is a clickable link to their account. This hashtag is sort of a discussion, in this case, about her album. So I can click on that hashtag. Notice how it resets my search and the hashtag in front of it. Now I'm looking at everybody that's talking about her new album. Okay, and then the third element is retweeting is somebody is sharing content as well. So your first sort of Twitter thing to do is go to the Twitter search box, put in whatever's interesting to you. If you're a business, put in the kinds of things your customers would be searching for, organic food. Um, hit it a little bit too quick. It makes it a little bit too easy. Hit hit this guy right here. There you go. And then now I've got organic food. And then look for those hashtags. Look for those powerful people. Now how do you know somebody's powerful? Click on their at symbol. It'll pop up and you'll see if they have a lot of followers or not. So she doesn't have a lot of followers. Look at who has a lot of followers. That's where you're going. <clears throat> so that's your first trick on Twitter. Now second trick they have an advanced search function on Twitter. It's really hidden. I don't know how to get to it other than to know how to look for it. You can also just go to Google and put in Twitter advanced search, and it will get you to Twitter advanced search. I can't do it from Twitter itself. Now, once you're in here, or if you go from my link, I have a little bit different setup. If you go to my link, this is sort of advanced search. Click here, or you can start typing here, but look here got all these wonderful things you can do, or it's got all the secret lingo explained for you there, how to do advanced searches, little nuanced things that you want to know. So let's look at this advanced search. 
Okay, now let's say we want to find out who's retweeting stuff about Taylor Swift. So let's put an RT for retweet, retweet, and we'll type in Taylor Swift Red. So in this example, we're looking for tweets that have all of those words, okay, and then hit search. <clears throat> So now I'm finding people who are sharing content that's relating to this new album from Taylor Swift. And you can do that through this advanced search. Now, play with that advanced search. There's a lot of cool things you can do. Let's go back and look at something. So let's take Taylor Swift, this one here. Let's take her official account, Taylor Swift 13. And let's say we want to see who's mentioning Taylor Swift. So let's put her in there. Let's take that out sign out. So over here we have mentioning. Taylor Swift's account hit search. So now I'm searching for who's mentioning that account. Okay, now what else can you do that's really interesting? You can look for a hashtag. Let's look for the hashtag red, which is her new album. And again, this could be anything. It could be proteomics. It could be organic food. It could be Obamacare. It could be whatever you're interesting, interested in. It'll do that for you. It makes it a little bit easier. Now what's really cool Let's do something totally different. Let's say, let's say I'm a, a Japanese restaurant and I sell sushi, and I'm looking for people who are talking about sushi near Fremont, California, near my restaurant. So I can use advanced search, and now I've got everybody talking. These are all people. Livermore is right down the street from us, so to speak. Everybody who's talking about sushi within 15 miles of Fremont, California, then what can I do? I can reach out to these people. I can get them to tweet about me. I can invite them to my restaurant, all that kind of fun stuff. So you can do a ton with this advanced search in Twitter and really zero into a topic to find people, etc. Now, as you're searching, what you're really looking for, hashtags, which are the conversations, the themes, Hashtag red is the theme about Taylor Swift's album. Hashtag organic food, this type of thing. You're looking for those at symbols. Those are the handles. That's the person or organization talking. And you're looking for retweets. Retweets are things that are shareable that people are really excited about and sharing. So those are two really cool things you can do in Twitter uh, as an advanced searcher. So those are two things right off the bat that you can do right in Twitter with that advanced search being somewhat hidden. You have to know to look for it. I, I don't know how to find it other than to know it exists. All right, now let's look at a couple search engines that will really help us. Uh, Bing, Google, and Topsy. I guess that's not a couple. That's three. So let's go over and let's look at these. Again, all of the links, jm-seo.org slash 42, or click on the link in the YouTube video, and that will get you uh, to all the goodies uh, spelled out for you. Now let's look at bing.com slash social. And what this is, is Bing, which is the number two search engine there, they have a very nice feature for searching real-time stuff on Twitter and Facebook. So let's put in Petraeus, who's this general who's in a lot of hot water over an affair these days. Let's put in Petraeus, his name, and hit search. And what you can do here is watch in real time. You're watching Facebook posts and tweets that are talking about Petraeus in real time. And that actually will, will churn as you go through. My, one of my favorite things to do is just to see it churned right there. Put in the word free, and you can see all the stuff that's going on, on the Internet about free. And that's, of course, going to go boom, 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 boom. So here's Facebook and Twitter posts on your keywords. And then same thing, you can check somebody out. You can click on their account. You can see if you like them. This person has 2,000 followers and a really loud background. You can check them out and decide if you want to follow them. So Bing Social, very, very, very useful thing to do is Bing Social. That's number two or sort of in our techniques. Okay, Google does not have as close a relationship to Twitter, but look what you can do on Google. Go to Google, type in site colon with no spaces, twitter.com, and then your keywords. Let's put in organic food and let's put it in quotes because we know it's always together as a phrase. So site colon twitter.com no spaces, organic food, hit Google search. This is a very good way to find accounts on Twitter. Rather than finding all the tweets, which are very rapid, this is a way to find accounts, and you can check out the accounts and see if you like the accounts and what you can do. And if you're a business, you can decide, you know, emulate these people or reach out to these people. So site colon twitter.com and your keywords, 
Okay, then go to your search tools, any time, past month. So you can break those into past month, past week, et cetera, and you can really do a lot. You can do site twitter.com pop music search. Find other people who are talking about pop music. Very good really for accounts and not so much for individual tweets. So I like it when I'm looking for accounts to emulate or accounts to follow. So that's Google search uh, of Twitter. Finally, Topsy is a really cool little real-time uh, engine. Let's put in Taylor Swift and let's actually click on tweets here. Let's put in Taylor Swift. The thing I don't like about Pops, Topsy is that little annoying thing that appears beneath it can be very hard to get, this is hard to get rid of. Then you can also just hit your enter key or hit search. So now, what have I done here on Topsy? I'm on Topsy, and again, all those links are in the PowerPoint if you get uh, the links from our website. Taylor Swift, you can adjust it. You can see who's tweeting. And again, you have a little bit more penetration into individual tweets going back in time. Twitter search is very real time. Bing search is very real time. So it's right in the moment. This is a way to go back in time and see what were people tweeting about 30 days ago with respect to Ta Taylor Swift. Now, and Google is good for finding accounts. So they all have their own special purposes uh, to search Twitter. Now, take something that's you know more corporate, organic food. Maybe you sell organic baby food. You can then use this to find out. You can go back 30 days. You can see who's who's talking about organic food. So Topsy is really good. So your three really good search engines, Bing Social, that's good for real time. Google.com, that's good for finding accounts. Topsy is good for finding shared URLs, um, stuff 30 days ago, et cetera. So those are some other really cool ways uh, to search Twitter. All right, so that has been how to search Twitter really quick all the different ways that you can find cool stuff on Twitter. My name is Jason McDonald. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, YouTube video, and I hope you come back to our channel uh, for more information. Thank you.